Hi guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my channel. So yes guys, in today I'm preparing for something because I have somewhere to go for today. And while like preparing for myself, while getting ready, I'm going to do talks about medical technologist. So in this video guys, you're gonna watch everything you need to know about medical technologist. So if you happen to just like watch me right now and you don't know me I am a medical technologist and profession and yeah I do vlogs for Metex if you happen to see me just right now go and check my channel and if you're interested so yes guys let's get started because I might get late so the first thing that you need to know about medical technologist is how long does it take to become a medical technologist here in the Philippines so medical technologist guys is a four year degree program so it's four year in college so in that four years guys okay kasama nang internship doon so like us we have a six month internship okay unlike other schools like they have one year okay one year at an internship nang iba guys as is amen six months so like first year, second year, third year, and fourth year half a sem. So it's just going to be like fourth year first sem, na sa school ka, and then fourth year second semester. Okay, will you will be like in you know, internship? So sa hospital ka na. And then after that, you're gonna graduate. And after graduating, okay, you're going to take the board exam. So for board exam, guys. Okay, usually it's a med tech. Ang board exam, um, in a year it's two times. So usually, yung schedule is March and September. But right now, guys, because of like pandemic, okay, the schedule has changed. And parang for this year, my exam ng January, and then like now sa March, tapos the next exam will be on August 2021. So next question guys is medtech board exam hard? Well, medical technologies board exam is difficult. Of course, okay, you really have to give effort to it. And yeah, I do vlogs about medtechs, okay? And I have some lecture videos guys in my channel. So if you are a medtech or you want to become a medtech or ang daming or or you're going like or you're reviewing so you're going to take the board exam it's not yet too late go and check my channel um kon um hindi naman masyadong mahaba guys yung mga video ko for lecture videos go and check it because it will really help you so yeah so yeah medical technologies board exam is really hard kahit anong course naman yan at kahit anong board exam um mahirap talaga okay pagdating sa board exam so Next, guys, is is medtech in demand here in the Philippines? So to tell you guys, medtech is one of the best profession, okay? But here in the Philippines, guys, it has no shortage of medical technologists. Yeah. So like, they just need a few of us. Kung magakar man ang mga hospital, okay, konti lang din ang kapuni nila. But like when the pandemic struck, guys, okay, dito sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo, okay, nangangailangan talaga sila ng medtech because medtech, di ba, we are inside the laboratory and we test patients' blood samples and other body fluids. So like, no nag-pandemic, ang daming hiring, guys, sa mga hospital and especially as a swabber because medtech ang swabber. So ang daming nag-hire ng medtech for like swabber and like analyst so molecular laboratory because you're the one that processed okay so yun so ang daming nabigyan na opportunity sa mga medtech and yeah that's very a nice opportunity but like they are going to hire you guys not as a regular okay just a contract well so it's it is just a job order but okay you have the chance to become regular if they need if they need a med tech. So next guys is where can you study med tech here in the Philippines? 
There are a lot of schools offering medical technologies here in the Philippines, and it depends on where you want to study. Like here guys, we only have two universities that offer courses of medtech, Okay, and then of course I am enrolled in one of the university here in our province and yes um, I just chose to study here in our place because I think it's more convenient and I'm not so used like staying away from my family so yeah and, and you know it's just the same a different school just the same you will soon become a med tech so first I'm going to drink water Okay, so next question guys is How much is the salary of a med tech? Okay, so everyone wants to know about that And like before, I really don't know anything about that I, Hindi pumasok sa isipan ko kung magkano ang salary ng isang med tech So, magkano nga ba ang salary ng med tech? Okay, so you are lucky enough guys if if you're going to be a med tech in a public hospital. Well, um, that's the main goal of everyone, to be stable and be hired in a government institution. Kasi sa public hospital guys, I think if you are a med tech one, your salary, your salary is like 20,000 and above. And then pag med tech two ka, it's like 30,000 and above. I'm not so sure about that, but it's like mataas na rin guys. Pag sa public hospital ka, pwede na talaga. But then, if you are ha, um, a medic in a private hospital, so private hospital guys, it's like approximately yung sa sa private hospital, it's between eight thousand to fifteen thousand. So ganon eight thousand to fifteen thousand. Well, um, dito yun guys ha sa Sa province naman. Dito yun siya sa province naman. So, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Sa ibang places like Manila, Davao, Cagayan, I'm not so sure. But here, sa Zamboanga City, approximately, when you are a medtech, in a private hospital or a first standing laboratory, private laboratory, it's approximately 8,000 to 15,000. And now you know, guys, na masyadong mababa ang salary ng medtech dito sa Pilipinas. That's why, like, ang option natin is we go abroad. Well, and mataas yung salary rate natin sa abroad. So, yes, that's the answer of how much is our salary as a medtech. So, next, guys, is how is the medtech job? Okay, how is the work of a medical technologist? So, medtech guys is not just about tae and ihi. Okay, most of the people, pag tae ihi, medtech daw yan. But they just don't know, like inside the laboratory, medtech is a very broad. We have a lot of sections, and the tae pati ihi is just one. It's just one of them. But we are so broad. So, like inside the laboratory, guys, if you want to become a medtech or like you are studying medtech right now, and hindi ka pa nag intern, so dito malalaman mo, guys. Inside the laboratory, we have a main laboratory. And in that main laboratory, guys, it is consists of different sections. So we have here the chemistry section, hematology section, clinical microscopy. Okay, kung saan yung tae pati ihi na alam nyo. And then we have like other special tests. So first, guys, is that chemistry section. So in chemistry section, a comprehensive metabolic panel it is a blood test that test um, that measures your like glucose level that is for sugar and then it is it tests for your liver function test kidney function test electrolytes guys and fluid balance so don't just a chemistry and then we have the hematology section guys where we specifically test for your blood so Yun na yung mga RBC, WBC, platelets. So, dun sa hematology section. And then next, we have the 
clinical microscopy section. So, sa clinical microscopy section, ito na yung sinasabi niyong tae pati ihi. So, yes, we look for parasites. Okay, if there are clinical significance sa stool niyo or sa ihi niyo. So, doon yun siya sa clinical microscopy. And also, there are also tests in clinical microscopy such as like pregnancy test. Okay, doon din siya. And then next, guys, we have the immunology section. So, in immunology section, we test for your, like, hepatitis, and then, what else, VDRL, and many more. And then, of course, we have other special tests. So, another special test, okay, we have tests, like, for dengue, and for, like, for, like, TSH, FD4, FD3, and then we have the prothrombin time. So, it's inside the main laboratory. And when you go outside the main laboratory, there are also other sections, which is the histology section. So, in histology section, guys, okay, you're the one that is going to prepare and process a patient um, tissue specimen. So, this is, okay, for the microscopic examination and analysis of the pathologist, by the pathologist. So, tayo mga matek, we're the one that process it. So, okay, so, like, you're going to know if, like, my cancer ba ang patient, ganyan, if cancerous ba yung part ng body niya yun. So, when I was in intern, guys, yung pinakamalaking, okay, part ng human body na nakita ko is yung kamay. Like, ganito kahaba, guys, ng kamay, and nakalagay siya sa balde. So, when I open that, like, balde, ang laki ng kamay, ang haba ng kamay, like, ganito. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I never thought that I will going to have an experience. At, nung nang medtech ako, guys, pumasok ako ng medtech. Okay, I really don't, I really didn't have the idea na may ganong histology section where you're really gonna see a part of human body. So, like, commonly napaprocessed is... Okay, na nag ako sa mga pathologist and yung commonly na napaprocess is ang ovaries. So, yeah, ovaries. Then, next guys, after the histology section, we also have the microbiology section. So, in microbiology section, guys, you isolate and culture bacteria and other microorganisms in their prescribed media. So, very interesting, so microbiology. It's very interesting and colorful because there are a lot of medias, right? But at the same time, it's very like, nakakatakot dahil pwede kang mahawaan. Well, kahit sa ang section ka naman, you have to be, you know, precaution, precaution, precaution talaga. You have to wear your proper PPE. So next guys, after the microbiology section, we have the blood banking section. That's the blood bank section. So in blood bank guys, okay, the med tech there, okay, they need to make sure that, oh, I'm so sorry. So, yeah, in blood bank, guys, okay, the med tech needs to make sure that the donated blood or blood products is safe before they are used for blood transfusion or other medical procedures. So, the test, okay, if negative naman ang donated blood for, like, hepatitis and, like, for HIV, ganon. So, before that is, okay, given to other you know, people, okay, na nangangailangan ng dugo. So, that's in the blood bank section. So, yeah, medtech is very broad, guys, okay? We are just more than tae pati ihi. And, yeah, of course, medtech, we also do the warding, okay? We're warding where you extract blood from the patient. Yes.
so let's just make it simple guys i just use the nude color guys yung bosses ko talaga pag umaga nagiging lalaki i'm so sorry So yeah guys, um, Medtech is very broad and we are not just that E and Tae, we are more than that. And yeah, we Medtechs are the backbones of the hospitals and and so we are special. Well, sabi ng iba, we are not frontliners but the truth is, we really are the frontliners, okay? Because nakatago man tayo guys, okay, direct contact naman tayo sa patient specimen. So that is very cool crucial and yeah you must wear your proper PPE so yeah we are frontliners and we are special we are the backbones of the hospital and so because of that I am really like proud of our of our of my profession as a medical technologist because without us guys there will be no proper diagnosis okay of the doctors to the patient so of course they need our result for them to diagnose the patient so yeah, so next guys is, is medtech work stressful? Well, for me, it depends, okay? It depends on you on how you handle stress. And yeah, but medtech, for me, it's not that stressful. It really depends on how you handle stress. But, and dami kong but. But yeah, medtech work is not that stressful. As long as you know what you're doing and you are confident in what you're doing, there's nothing to worry about, okay? Yeah, there are days that it's very crazy, okay? You just want to break down when there are lots of clients, okay? Sa outpatient and also you have a complicated inpatient all at the same time and there are a lot of tests to run and then there will be okay a breakdown of machine also okay when the machine is not cooperating with you okay it can get stressful really really stressful i've been there and there are also these guys when it's very relaxing okay when it's okay everything is going smooth and you're just gonna sit there and think ganyan, you're gonna wait for the patient okay especially on weekends guys so like i got home relaxed relax from work and of course I don't bring stress at all I really don't want that so yeah my tech um, my medic, li medic life is you know just normal just like the same work it can get stressful and it's also at the same time relaxed okay get to relax I have to hurry because I'm getting I'm getting late. I'm getting late. I'm getting late. I'm done. So I'm just going to change outfit and we're done. So yes guys, that's it for our medical technologist 101. And if I haven't mentioned something that you want to know, go and comment down below guys and I will surely answer that. So yes guys, I'm done. I hope I look good now. So I'm done, we're done, and yeah, I think that's it guys. See you in my next video. Bye!